Welcome to Psychology Refresh. Today, we're going to go over why you are single based on your MBTI type. Make sure to watch each one and find out why you are single. Each personality type can't find love from a particular reason, and we have assigned each one of the 16 personality types the reason why they are permanently single. Find out what it is and determine how you can use this knowledge in reaching personal growth and self-improvement. Here is why you are single based on your MBTI type. Number 1. ISTJ because they want to take life seriously, ISTJs are usually not the sort to go out and party. Most people might be too flighty for them to be interested in, they would think. The ISTJ is a very dependable and sincere person who takes their obligations seriously. Occasionally, those who aren't as willing to settle down as the ISTJ are apt to view this negatively. Until they meet someone who shares their important ideals and principles, they will remain single. Number 2. ISFJ ISFJs are compassionate by nature, which might make them vulnerable to exploitation. The ISFJ prefers committed relationships most of the time, but they take this extremely seriously. ISFJs might date people who don't treat their relationships seriously enough, which will ultimately compel them to break up with them. Simply put, they need to find someone who is prepared to commit to them to the level they require. Number 3. ESTJ Efficiency is important to ESTJs, and they frequently hold interpersonal interactions to very high standards. They are typically capable of playing their field till they discover the proper individual and frequently serious about their level of commitment. Until they are prepared to make that commitment a lifelong one, the ESTJ will not settle down or commit to someone. The ESTJ will go to any lengths to ensure that their connection with their ideal spouse succeeds after they have found them. If you are enjoying our content, please give this video a like, subscribe to our channel, and do not forget to turn on the notification bell. Number 4. ESFJ because they are nurturing people, ESFJs frequently try to save others. They give too much of themselves in a relationship because they want to support the people they care about. The ESFJ genuinely experiences burnout as a result of their propensity to give too much. When this occurs, the ESFJ may find themselves unable to meet their partner's needs, which will contribute to the breakdown of the relationship. They do prefer commitment over casual dating. Therefore, they would rather be single than be with someone who isn't serious about them. Number 5. INFJ Simply because they have witnessed both the worst and brightest sides of everyone they know, INFJs frequently struggle with trust. Despite their apparent warmth and engagement, INFJs typically struggle to be as open and unguarded as other personality types. They don't divulge as much about themselves as their spouse does because they don't want to put their trust in someone who might vanish overnight. The INFJ has a complex inner self and a sensitive soul. They are not quick to let someone into their world, and the process takes some time. Finding the appropriate people who are eager to tear down walls can often be difficult because the INFJ builds them. Number 6. INFP INFPs value meaningful connections and dislike anything superficial. At first, the INFP will only perceive a person's positive qualities, but with time, they will become dissatisfied when they reveal their shallower sides. They usually idealize love since they are waiting for the ideal partner. The INFP will not accept anything less than spectacular, which can lead them to experience a prolonged period of singleness. Number 7. ENFJ The propensity of ENFJs is to try to please everyone. They strive to uphold a feeling of perfectionism, but it can be challenging to do so. The ENFJs' desire to meet everyone's demands frequently causes them to hover a little bit about their loved ones. This may turn others away. Therefore, it can take some time until the proper individual shows up who will value their tendency to give. Number 8. ENFP 
Jumping into things too fast and bouncing around when they lose interest are traits of ENFPs. They seek excitement in life and love challenges. They have a great feeling of zest for life, which occasionally causes those around them to fall behind. The ENFP may struggle to find the perfect partner because of their tendency toward indecision. Number 9. ISTP ISTPs abhor stagnation and generally spend the majority of their time alone. They enjoy physical contact, although they frequently wait a while before being forced into a relationship. ISTPs prefer being by themselves, which makes it challenging for them to see a cause to start dating. They will begin a relationship if they have finally found someone who offers them what they are lacking and is patient with them. Number 10. ISFP when it comes to taking the initiative, ISFPs sometimes exhibit some hesitancy. Although they have kind hearts and compassionate spirits, they could be too apprehensive to start a relationship until the other person does. ISFPs value their relationships, but they also frequently love their alone time. They can have high expectations for the people they spend time with and only want someone who shares those qualities. Number 11. ESTP Prior to being truly prepared to commit, ESTPs commonly switch relationships. They like to have fun and frequently live in the present. The ESTP frequently needs some time to settle down and may see relationships as a little bit of a battleground. They will be prepared to settle down once they encounter someone who captures their attention for an extended period of time and who is willing to resist them. Number 12. ESFP ESFPs appreciate living life to the fullest and sharing their delight with others. They are highly carefree people that live in the now. Because of their energy and desire to have fun, they could hop from relationship to relationship very quickly. When they find someone who can keep them engaged and who understands their need for excitement, they will start to settle down. Number 13. INTJ INTJs don't rush into relationships without carefully considering the possible outcomes. This means that the INTJ frequently waits for someone who meets their pretty lengthy list of requirements. Before beginning a long-term relationship, they want to make certain that it is healthy. Because of their rational and pragmatic outlook, INTJs sometimes reject dating opportunities. The INTJ may spend a lot of time alone as a result of their hesitation, but they are probably fine with that. Number 14. INTP INTPs aren't the most sensitive to people's emotions, hence they're unlikely to initiate a relationship. They are much less likely to actively seek someone in a social context. They would prefer a person to show that they are interested in them. Compared to many of the other types, INTPs value their alone time more. Although they respect their relationships, they occasionally overthink every circumstance. Since they prefer to spend most of their time within their own brains, their preference for rationality may cause them problems in their romantic relationships. Finding someone who will respect their privacy and be able to take charge when the INTP is lost in their own thoughts may take some time. Number 15. ENTJ because they value efficiency, ENTJs can be rather demanding of love partners who fall short of their expectations. The majority of ENTJs' focus is directed toward advancing their lives and jobs, which can leave little opportunity for romantic relationships. ENTJs are frequently highly certain of what they want, which might cause them to reject people who do not align with their particular life objectives. They usually won't find a partner unless they meet someone who breaks down their boundaries. Number 16. ENTP Relationships with ENTPs frequently come and go as they look for someone who can truly keep up with them. Because they enjoy a good argument, they could come out as a little harsh to certain people. This can occasionally drive away people who are overly sensitive to the ENTP's penchant for provocation. When it comes to relationships, the ENTP might be a little indecisive. Therefore, it might take them some time to find a partner. These videos will be really helpful for you.